Hello everybody, how y'all doing? My name is Rafael and welcome to today's video. Today I want to talk about the new assault rifle that we got with season 4, the RM68, which is truly a very unique and probably one of the best weapons in the entire game, if not the best. You can unlock this weapon by reaching season pass level 40, so that might take you some time. However, it really is worth it because it's truly an amazing weapon. In this video, I will try to go over the best loadout that I have found, at least in my opinion, and share with you a couple of tips and tricks for the weapon. So, once you start using the RM68, the first thing that you're going to notice, at least the first thing that I noticed, was that the second bullet has an interesting kick on it. And the second thing that I noticed is that the accuracy sometimes is weird, even though it is a very accurate weapon, and it is super effective at all sorts of ranges, short ranges, medium ranges, even long ranges, as you will watch from the gameplay, you can actually get some kills very, very easily with just a couple of bullets. If you get two headshots, it's instantly a kill. I think all the way up to 100 meter, if I'm not mistaken. But the accuracy was a little bit off sometimes. I felt like my bullets should be hitting the enemy. However, they weren't. So once I started unlocking a lot of attachments, this was the loadout. I decide works the best for me. Starting off with the side, of course, that's whatever you prefer. I really like the Fusion Holo, I really like the K8 Holo. Pick whatever side you prefer. As you can see here, I have the Fusion Holo as the first side, and then on the second slot, I have the Thermal in case I, I wanna mess around a little bit. And of course, a medium range side is my last option at 3.5 times you can go with a four time you can go with a 2.5 time whatever you like the sights really don't change how the weapon performs but it helps you kill enemies depending the range moving on to the barrels which i think is the most interesting part as soon as i unlock the shortened barrel the gameplay with this weapon changed drastically and that's because the increased rate of fire made it even more viable in those close ranges because the only big complaint that I had up to this point was that at short short ranges if the other guy has an SMG it's really hard for me to compete however as you can see here getting the sword and barrel increases the rate of fire and makes it a much much better option and a much more viable option for that short range engagement as you can see if we go with the standard CCN suppressor break our rate of fire sits at 620 with the sword and barrel it goes all the way up to 710 the sword and barrel will also increase our vertical recoil control and for whatever reason it seems to not take off the suppressor so we're suppressed as well we don't show up on the minimap and the enemies have a hard time hearing our shots so it's a pretty pretty good combo in my opinion now in case you don't want to use the sword and barrel the next best thing in my opinion is the tactical compressor because it deals with that weapon accuracy that i told you about earlier moving on to the magazines of course my first pick is the standard issue slash extended magazine that comes with 30 bullets the base magazine of this weapon the standard issue as you can see here comes with 20 rounds it will be a little challenging getting used to it at, at the start you know having to play with just 20 rounds but the more you play the easier it's going to be for you and once you get down the recoil and the action of the weapon you're going to realize that 20 rounds are a lot of times enough bullets to take down i don't know even three enemies maybe even four if you're pretty accurate so even the 20 round magazine is decent however you want that 10 extra round so standard issue slash extended mag is the first magazine we want to use and moving on now to the underbar attachment we have all sorts of options starting off my first pick is of course the lwt grip for that accuracy while moving because i like to not stay still when i'm moving and i like to go left right left right this grip over here helps a lot with my playstyle. if you don't do that if you like to stand still then the cobra grip is probably going to be a better option for you which is pretty much the exact opposite of the lwg grip as you can see the cobra grip gives us accuracy while static and reduce our accuracy while moving meanwhile the lwg grip gives us accuracy while moving and reduce our accuracy while static another great option is the bcg light grip for the aim down the sides accuracy you can of course go with a laser sight which will increase your hip fire accuracy and then you have the STNR laser sight, which increases your hipfire accuracy while moving. 
and the recoil control. I thought that this would be the attachment that I would end up going with. However, after equipping it and tried for a couple of games, I realized that I prefer the LWG. So that's why I changed back to it. The third option that I have here is the 40 millimeter noob tube. For those grenades, those can come in handy in case you see a couple of people all stuck on top of each other and you want to use something to take them out all in an instant instead of just shooting bullets um it's a pretty fun attachment to use and a pretty effective one so so it's nice to have it on my third slot so i can change it whenever and if i ever need it so short and barrel whatever size you like standard issue extender mag and the lwc grip as you was for the gameplay the gun can kill super fast especially if you get that one headshot and a lot of times i find myself dying from someone extremely fast uh, and i'm like how the hell did he kill me that fast and then i see that he's using the rm68 now i don't think the uh, i don't think dice is gonna go ahead and nerf it however it, that's all obviously always a possibility so depending on when you watch this video the effectiveness of the weapon might have been reduced but as things are right now it truly is, in my opinion, one of the best weapons in the entire game, if not the best weapon. It really reminds me of the SFAR, or SCAR, as most people call it. Um, how it used to be back when the game first came out. It was super, super strong, exactly for the same reasons. The RM is super, super strong. You don't need a lot of bullets to kill the enemies. It's extremely effective at all sorts of ranges, including short ranges and long ranges. The accuracy and handling of it, it's really pretty decent especially when you use the right attachments so i don't see any downsides using the rm68 compared to any other weapon in the game including smgs lmgs everything so yeah thank you very much for watching the video let me know down below in the comment section if you have been playing with the rm68 and if you have been enjoying it have a wonderful day everybody bye bye